All right, so I'm here with Mr. Mechanic Steve, and we are rebuilding the engine on this tractor. And Steve, I understand you're gonna show us something uh, pretty cool here. Yeah, I'm gonna check the uh, block for flatness, and then we'll check the heads uh, later. So when you send your, uh, your block, your engine block to a machine, it's what they do is they're checking for warpage on the block itself. Just because it looks flat doesn't mean it's flat, so you need to actually check it. So this is uh, uh, the procedure most machinists will use, or all machinists. They'll take a known uh, straight edge, like the one I have is actually snap-on. Um, and you can tell the edges on these is just an absolute machine service. Now I need to wipe this one down before we use it. <clears throat> but what you do is you take a straight edge and you check these several ways. So you check them long way like this. You set it on there until it just rests by itself. Start with the thousandth uh, feeler gauge. Which is, that's 25, I'll start at 3 thousandths. So what you're gonna do, you need to put one hand on your straight edge, make sure your straight edge doesn't fall. You don't ever wanna drop a straight edge because you'll bend it and it won't. But you try to stick the feeler gauge in between it and see if there's any gaps. So I'm not able to put it underneath at all. So now I'll move this to the center. Okay, not able to do that. Put it over here to this side. Check it. You're just gonna go down the whole length. You don't try to he-man this thing underneath it because if you push it really hard, you'll lift the straight edge up. All right, so we've checked it like that. Now we need to do the cross. Go from one corner to the other. It's like I said, whatever you do, make sure you don't drop this dude on the ground because I think this one's hundred something dollars and you're not gonna fix it. You're not gonna get somebody to fix it for you. You just have to buy another one. I'm sure there's a machinists out there that will fix it, but you know, you're paying a machinist hourly versus buying another one. Mm -hmm. So then after you do the crosses and everything, you need to go from here back in several different places. And generally on your cylinders, what you're gonna do is you're gonna split your cylinders in half. So you're gonna put your straight edge. It'll be real hard to do because that pumps in the way. But you can kind of feel it if you put your hand down on it where it's flat. We'll do it here. You can see it's a little low right there. Well, that's probably because, okay. Put your cylinder in half, then check it. And then go right between them like that. And just go all around. And if you're able to fit, I think tolerance is like a three thousandths of an inch. Um, I'm not sure about you know what Zeter tolerances are, but or is it Toa tolerances? But try to fit a three thousandth inch uh, shim or a thousandth. And if you have a low spot on one of them, take you a paint marker. Now mark where it's low. Anywhere between zero and um, about three thousandths, uh, the, the head gasket can take up the space. Anything over three thousandths, you need to take it to a machinist and have them mill it down. And see if they can mill it down, because like this head, we can mill it down and it'll be fine. Uh, we have to take it to a shop that can actually uh, do it properly. On a gasoline engine, you just mill it, you know, a thousand of an inch, whatever the spec is. On diesel engines, it's a little more involved with sleeves. Because if you move, you, you mill this area down, you have to bring this edge down too. So if you take three thousands off here, you have to take the edge down because your liner will stick up too high. So we checked the block. The block is okay. It's not warped or anything. Next, we'll check the heads. I doubt the heads are gonna be warped because there's such a small area and such a thick casting, but it's good to know because you don't want to put an engine together that's got, you know, say 8,000th 8, eight of a warpage because you'll put your, your cylinder head gasket on, you put your engine on or your head together and when you go running it, when you get hot, it'll blow that gasket out on one side. But that's how you use a straight edge. And nice. Straightness. So that's all there is to it. Yeah, that's it. That's the same thing your machinist is gonna do when you take it to him. All right. And the block passes. Passed. Eastern European Slavic quality. All right. Wait, if you slip me $100, it passes. If not, then I gotta fail it. <laughs> typical unions. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll link in the video description below to Steve's channel.